Good afternoon, everyone, and welcome to the Foreign Correspondents Club of Japan for this afternoon's press conference. I'm Richard Lloyd Parry, your moderator today, for what is going to be an extremely timely event in this remarkably tense day for Japan. Uh, with me at the front is Takamatsu-san, our interpreter today, and of course our guest, Mr. Osama Miyata, president of the Center for Contemporary Islamic Studies in Japan. Now, many of us here have been both professionally and personally preoccupied by the appalling events of the last eight days since the first video appeared featuring Kenji Goto and Haruna Yukawa. Now, you're all familiar with events since then, including the latest message late last night, which announced, which uh, had Mr. Goto announcing uh, that he and a Jordanian Air Force pilot will be killed in the next few hours. We worked out it's the next six hours, unless Jordan releases a female jihadi prisoner in Amman. Um, I mean, apart from anything else, this is one of the biggest foreign policy emergencies to have befallen Shinzo Abe's government. And it obviously raises important questions about Japan's policy towards the Middle East, uh, about the struggle, uh, Japan's role in the struggle between Western governments and jihadi organizations, and also about the morality of dealing with terrorists and how you deal with them. Few Japanese are in a better position to address these issues than Mr. Miyata, who's one of the country's leading experts on the Middle East. After studying uh, history at Keio and the University of California, he was an associate professor at the University of Shizuoka, and he now heads his own think tank. Many of you will have seen his appearances, certainly in the last few days, on television. And we're very lucky to have him here today. Please welcome him to the Foreign Correspondents Club. Uh, now, we're pressed for time. Uh, Mr. Mieta has to leave on the stroke of four, so I'm afraid that we will, we will stop right on schedule. He is going to talk for 15 to 20 minutes with translation, uh, putting some of these bigger issues in their context, and then we will then turn to questions, beginning with the working press. Please turn off your phones. Thank you. And Mr. Miata, the floor is yours. Thank you very much for this kind introduction. で、あの、ま、今日はですね、あの、え、ご紹介にありましたように、15分から、ま、20分ぐらい、こちらの、え、話をさせていただきまして、え、それからあの、質疑応答に移ってきたいと思います。So so I'd like to speak very briefly at the beginning and tell you a little bit about the um, outline of events that have occurred and then also some of the conclusions that I have drawn. I've been to almost all of the Islamic nations in the world, and my general impression has been that most of them think very favorably or have thought very favorably of Japan. え、それからまああのそう19年後にはですね、東京オリンピックを開いたように目覚ましい復興を遂げたわけです。で、それに比べるとあのま、アフガニスタンとかイラク、なかなか復興しないで現状にやっぱ苦しんでいる状態にある。
、でそれにあの、まあ、第二次世界大戦後は日本と、えー、イスラム諸国との関わりでは、あのまあ、日本は第二次世界大戦中、東南アジアというあの、まあ、インドネシアとかマレーシアというイスラム諸国には軍事介入したことはありますけれども、中東のアラブ、イスラム諸国にはです、ね、軍事的に関わったことはずっとなかったわけですね。Uh, another reason that they felt favorably toward、um, Japan is that, of course, during World War II,、uh, Japan did invade some、um, Islamic、um, nations in Southeast Asia, such as Indonesia and Malaysia, but、uh, there were no incursions, no military interventions by uh, uh, Japanese uh, during World War II in the Middle Eastern、uh, Arab nations. それとあの、まあ、経済的にあの日本が、えー、発展を遂げたこと、そして、あのえーまあ、あそこで使われている自動車とか、えー、家電とかあるいは皆さんが使われているようなそのカメラといった、えー、製品には非常にまあ日本のものが多くて、まあ、そうしたの日本のテクノロジーも、えーア,ラえー、アラブイスラム世界の人々からは、えー、好感を持って見られてきたと思います。And when, we look, and when we look at、um, many of the、uh, items that are being used、uh, in the Arabic or Islamic、uh, nations, for example, automobiles,、uh, electrical appliances, cameras,、uh, you can see that、uh, the Arabic world, Islamic nations,、uh, very much admire the technology that Japan has been able to achieve. であのどうもあの最近、まあ、日本に対するそのイメージというものですね、あのアラブ・イスラム世界の側からあのともするとあの崩れている。であの一つ表現とすればです、ね、そのアラブ・イスラム諸国というのは大体、親、えー、日国が多いわけですけれどもあの、唯一の反日国はイスラム国だけかなという、そんな印象もあります。Uh, recently, however,、uh, we have been beginning to see、uh, that the admiration or the positive uh, image uh, that Japan has held among the Islamic nations of the world has begun to change a little bit.、Uh, there has been some a little bit of a deterioration of the positive image that Japan has held. But still, however, I believe it is only the Islamic State、uh, of all of the nations in the world or all of the、uh, organizations, Islamic organizations in the world that has、uh, negative images toward Japan. であの、まあ、今回の人質事件ですけれども、まあ、これはあの、えー、世界のまあ矛盾がです、ねえー、凝縮するような形で現れているのではないかというあの気がします。So it is、uh, only the Islamic State that has negative feelings toward Japan. However, when we look at the current hostage situation, I think we can say that it basically distills all of the distortions or, or the、uh, sort of the paradoxes that are inherent in the interna in international community at present. であのまあ、中東イスラム世界の、まあ、地図というものをです、ね、あの見ますと、まあ、これはの、まあ、イラク戦争を経てそれから、えー、アラブの春を経てで、まあ、イラク、シリアは、えーまあ、ずっと戦乱の状態にありますし、えーまあ、北アフリカを見てもです、ねえー、紛争のベルトは広がりつつあります。What I'm saying is that、uh, we see,、uh, we take a look at the、uh, map of the Middle East and we see that many, much,、uh, many, many conflicts have been、um, continuing over the years. We saw the Iraq War,、um, after that, we saw the、uh, Arab Spring. However, we see that、um, conflicts are continuing in Iraq and Syria, have extended even further into North Africa. The belt or the arc of conflict seems to be increasing. The, uh, the, uh, the, uh, 現状や将来に希望を持てない若者たちが増えているというところからですねこういう暴力的な集団が支持を集めて勢力を拡大しているのかなとそういう印象です。As a result, I believe that there are many, many、uh, young people、uh, of the Islamic world who are feel hopeless about、uh, the current situation and who feel very little hope or, or expectations for the future. And it is these people that are fueling、uh, these violent new organizations. It is they who support them. でもちろんその、えー、暴力というものは許されるわけではありませんけれども、あのーまあ、中東、えー、イスラム世界の、まあ、現状を考えればです、ねえーそのえー、こういうあの武装集団に入ることによってのみです、ね、生,活を生活手段を得ることが、えー、入ることによってのみです、ね、生活手段を得ることができる。
という若者たちが少なからずいるんではないかということですね。でまあ、こういうあの暴力的なその集団の活動をまあ抑制するには、まあ、私が改めて言うことではありませんけれども、えー、政治あごめんなさい社会や経済の安定を図っていくことがです、ねえー、暴力的にこういう集団を制圧することよりも、えー、先に考えるべきではないかとずっと思っております。So, in regard to how、uh, we can deal with the、uh, current situation, how can we prevent these violent organizations from increasing their power?、Um, I do not mean to、uh, make grand statements, but I think it is uh, simply uh, logical and、uh, obvious that, that rather than trying to use force to hold down these armed organizations, a better way is to somehow try to ensure better、uh, stability in terms of social and economic stability、uh, in this、uh, area of the world. That is a much more effective means. はいあのまあ、アメリカのまあブッシュ政権、2001年の9・11の事件を受けて、テロとの戦いということを言い出したわけですけれども、ただその、えーまあ、アフガニスタンは、えー、ともかくとしてです、ね、まあ、イラク戦争については、えー、正当な根拠がなかった、でえーまあ、アフガニスタンでもいまだに米軍は駐留を続けている、えー、そして、えー、イラクでもアメリカはです、ね、再びその軍事介入を行っているというところからもです、ね、テロとの戦いというのは有効ではなくそしてテロの発生件数は9・11の前よりもはるかに増えてテロが起こる地域も一層広く広大になっているということですね。Uh, the war against terrorism was a phrase that came into existence after uh, 2011, uh, 2001 uh, with the、uh, September 11th、um, terrorist attacks、uh, in the United States uh, under uh, the Bush administration. However,、uh, we have seen that,、um, putting aside、uh, the mo- for a moment、uh, the situation in Afghanistan, at least the invasion、uh, or war against Iraq turned out not to have a true justification. We see that、uh, there are areas of the Middle East that are still being occupied. We see that there are、uh, many、uh, To many uh, uh, times when、uh, the US intervenes militarily, we see that in spite of the fact that、um, many, many efforts have been、uh, made、uh, to proceed with the war on terrorism, the number of terrorist、uh, events or, or、uh, incidents have increased uh, bef- uh, when compared to the situation before 9 11.、Uh, not only have the numbers increased, but they have become even more、um, expansive in nature, they have been more destructive in nature. であの現在、アメリカのオバマ政権はです、ね、あのイスラム国の根絶には3年間かかると言っていますけれども、これも別にその科学的な、正確な根拠があるわけであります、それにオバマ政権の任期というのは、あと2年もなくて、それがあのイスラム国の撲滅のためにです、ね、3年間かかるというのはです、ね、どうもなんか私は無責任なあの印象を受けるんですけれども。And we see that、uh, in the United States,、uh, President Obama has said that、uh, it, will pro- it will take three years to completely eradicate or uh, squash uh, ISIL.、Uh, at the same time, however,、um, he has not presented any specific scientific、uh, or calculations or, or, or justifications for this three year、uh, period. And not only that,、uh, he has less than two years to go in his tenure. So,、uh, by m- stating publicly that it will take、uh, three years to、um, eradicate ISIL when he knows that he will not be in office for that long, f- to me, That sounds like a rather irresponsible statement. であの、まあ、今の,この進展の中で,です、ねあの、日本の安倍首相は、えー、この間、えー、中東を訪れて、イスラム国と戦う、えー、国々、えー、あるいはその周辺の難民にです、ね、2億ドルを、えー、拠出するということをあの話しました。でまあ、あのそれは私はいいことだと思うんですけれども、ただ、あのここの,その支援の中で,です、ね、日本の支援の中で、忘れられている人たちがいるんではないかという印象を受けるんです、でその忘れられている人たちというのは
あのイスラム国の支配下に置かれている人たちのことが、えー、忘れられているのではないかという気がします。Category of people, there is a category of people that have been completely forgotten. And these are the people, the refugees and dislocated people, who are in the areas、uh, that are controlled by ISIL. イスラム国の,あの支配下に置かれている人たちはです、ね、これからもずっとそのイスラム国というものを支持していくのではないかというそういう印象を持っております。So, certainly,、uh, when we talk about trying to provide some kind of humanitarian support and aid to the people who are uh, suffering uh, and who live in the area dominated by ISIL, I understand that from a practical point of view, that would be very, very difficult to achieve. However, if we continue to、uh, ignore these people and not offer the,、uh, these people aid, I believe that these people will have no choice but to continue to support ISIL. The, uh, no, my, you know, いろんなそのチャンネルを使ってですねその忘れられたつまりイスラム国の支配地域に置かれている人たちへの支援というものをですねあの考えていった方がいいでそれとあとそのまあイスラム国まああんまりその考えたくなんて言ったらいいんだろうまあイスラム国もやっぱりメンツがあると思うんですねでイスラム国のそのメンツを考えてもですねまあ日本がイスラム国に対してえーまあ、感謝されていったらあれですけどもイスラム国の,そのにこう貢献するような、えーまあ、それもなんか今の国際情勢の中では怒られるような発言かもしれませんけどもあの住民たちにそのを、えー、支援するということは別に例えばその医療品の、えー、供与とか提供とかいったものはです、ねまあ、これはあの人道上の支援というものは日本が仮にそのイスラム国支配下の人たちにやってもです、ね、そんなに大きな国際的な批判は浴びないのではないかというあの気がします。Uh, in, uh This current situation, I believe that、uh, the Japanese government should、uh, try to maintain many channels of communications、uh, and also, again, as I've repeatedly said, try not to forget these people that are suffering who live in the、uh, areas dominated by、uh, ISIL at present.、Uh, I understand, again, from a practical point of view, it is very, very difficult、uh, to provide aid to these people, but I think we have to try to think of every possible way to, and,、uh, to, to achieve this. At the same time,、um, again, I search for the correct word to、uh, describe the idea. That I'm, I'm thinking of, but I believe that this ISIL organization has pride.、Uh, they want to save face.、Um, and I understand that、uh, perhaps the word is not、uh, correct to say thank you to the ISIL organization.、Um, and perhaps the idea of trying to provide some kind of a humanitarian uh, uh, aid uh, to ISIL that would be、uh, converted into humanitarian aid for the people under their control. Uh, to providing that kind of contribution might, be,、uh, might draw criticism、uh, from the international community given the current、uh, situation. However, in spite of this, however, if、uh, Japan were to offer some kind of humanitarian aid through ISIL to the people under their control,、uh, humanitarian aid such as, for example, medical supplies, I think that kind of humanitarian contribution would not necessarily draw that much fire from、uh, other nations. えーまあ、あの長期的にはああいったその、まあ、暴力的な集団の、えー、勢いというのはです、ね、あの止めなければいけないとは思うんですけどもあのそれを支持している人たちがいるということを、えーまあ、日本をはじめ国際社会は、えー、忘れてはいけないのではないかというあの気がします。であのまあ、イスラム国を、えー、支配している人たちがいればそのイスラム国と、えー、住民たちとの,のこう分断を図る、えー、ということがです、ね、長期的にはやはりイスラム国の、えー、暴力を弱めていくことに、えー、なるのではないかでそれにはやはりあの現在の,そのイラク政府の、えー、努力というものも必要だと思うんですね。
、であのイラク戦争もです、ねえーまあ、現在の,そのイラク政府は、えー、シーハ主体の政権ですけれども、えー、イラク北部のスニア住民たちの福利というものに、あまりもその注意を払わなかったことがです、ねえー、イスラム国の台頭、あるいはそのイスラム国を支援しているあの旧サダム・フセイン政権時代の管理とか、軍人たちのイスラム国への支持、支援というものを、協力というものをです、ね、これまで招いてきたと思うんですね。ですからそのイスラム国を長期的に弱体化するにはです、ね、あのイラク北部の人たちの福利の向上であるとか、そこの社会経済発展を推進,、まあ、推進するというのは難しいかもしれませんが、実現するようなです、ね、そういう関与こそ、日本をはじめ、国際社会は暴力を弱めるために求められているのではないかという気がします。So, certainly,、uh, as I've said at the beginning,、uh, I do not condone、uh, violent organizations, and、uh, we must, of course,、uh, focus all of our energies in trying to somehow slow down or stop the momentum of、uh, these violent organizations,、uh, such as ISIL. At the same time, we cannot forget that there are people in the world that support、um, ISIL and its activities, and that is something that the Japanese and uh, international uh, community members, persons,、uh, should never.、Uh, Forget.、Uh, when we look at the people who support ISIL,、uh, we see that、uh, if we can somehow separate the people who support ISIL from the actual violent organization that is ISIL, then over the long term we will be able to uh, make ISIL uh, uh, less powerful, in other words, to rob them of their might. And specifically, what I'm saying is that when we look back at the history of ISIL, we see that one of the reasons that they received so much support was that、um, the current Iraqi government is basically、uh, based uh, on uh, the Shiites. However, there, there is a Sunni minority up in the northern part of Iraq, and the current government、uh, did not really pay much attention、uh, to the sufferings of the people in、uh, northern Iraq, the Sunni population. And so they turned instead to uh, support uh, ISIL. Also,、uh, when we look at、uh, the previous、uh, administration or government uh, of uh, Saddam Hussein,、uh, the people who supported his government or the people who were powerful or, or, or favored in his government, they also were abandoned by the new government. And as a result, they also have become ISIL supporters. So, what I'm saying is that one way to approach the situation is to try to、um, offer、uh, long term support、uh, to the people uh, in, uh, for example, northern Iraq, the Sunnis.、Uh, For example, providing them with some kind of health and welfare uh, uh, assistance. And、uh, I don't know if the correct uh, word uh, is to say help them with their economic development, but somehow、uh, the Japanese and international communities must try to help the, the people in these、uh, areas regain their livelihoods, their、uh, everyday、uh, lives. であのもうあの時間来ましたの、ね、で、最後にあの一言だけですけども。あのこれからです、ね、あの私、まあ、日本国民としてです、ね、やっぱその中東イスラム世界で、えー、信頼さ,され続ける、えー、日本であり続けてほしいというふうにあの考えております、であの彼らの、えー、信頼や期待に、えー、応えるような、えー、政策をです、ね、あの日本政府にはあのこれからも、えー、取って、えー、いただきたい、えー、というふうに思います。で同様に、まあ、日本人にあの、イスラム世界というのは日本からあの遠い、えー、世界かもしれません、これ、歴史的な関わりというのも、えー、そんなにあの歴史あの長くはないですし、深くもない、で日本人もです、ね、イ,スラムへのあイスラムの人々への理解を深め、えー、彼らが今持っているその困難を克服し,し、えー、希望を持つことに、えー、関心を持ち続けてほしい、つまりあのこういったその暴力が起こる背景にはです、ね、やっぱりその彼らの、えー、困難があるということを、えー、日本人の多くが理解して、えー、何らかの,その支援の手をです、ねまあ、政府をはじめ、日本人があのやっていってもらいたいという気がします。So, I understand I've come to、uh, the end of my appointed、uh, time, so I'd like to close up. But I would like to say at the very end that、um, I, it is my great personal hope that Japan will continue to be a nation uh, that uh, the nations of the Middle East,、uh, Islamic world, will continue uh, to uh, admire and feel uh, f- uh, 
uh, amicable towards. Uh, and uh, in order for this to be realized, it is my great hope that the Japanese government uh, responds to the uh, feelings of trust and expectations that the Islamic nations have toward Japan. And I also have a wish for the Japanese people. I understand that Japan and, is, and the Islamic world are very, very distant from each other geographically. Historically, they have had very little um, contact. Um, however, uh, I would hope that Jap Japanese people would uh, begin to try to deepen their understanding of the Islamic world and to try to help understand what, what the hopes and expectations and the sufferings of the Islamic uh, people are at present. In other words, uh, for Japanese people to understand that the reasons uh, that there are, is such great violence in this world uh, is because uh, the, there is so much suffering uh, in the Islamic world at present. And once uh, uh, Japanese people understand the sufferings of the people there, uh, it is my hope that they will extend uh, a, a helping hand uh, to these people as well. Thank you. Thank you very much, Mr. Miata. We've got uh, just about half an hour, so we'll go straight to questions. We'll start with members of the working press. Please identify yourself by name and affiliation. Natalie. Thank you very much. My name is Natalie from Daily Beast. Uh, there seems to be a growing community of Japanese people interested in radical Islam, including meeting ISIS commanders. Um, who are these people? Um, are they, uh, why are they interested? Who is Mr. Hassan Konakata, the former pr professor of Islamic studies? Last year, uh, someone posted an ad in a bookstore in Akihabara recruiting Japanese people to work in Syria. Uh, what is the attraction that um, uh, Japanese people have? Hmm. Ano ま、中田さん、で、え、昨年なんかその自分たちのその活動場所を日本よりもあのイスラム国の支配地域に見出したいというまあそういうあの動機背景だと思います。uh, in regard to uh, Mr. Nagata, um, I know him privately as a, a researcher. Uh, he is uh, researching the same fields that I am, uh, and uh, he's a colleague in that sense. And I also know that he is an excellent uh, researcher in his field of study, which is Islamic law. In regard to your question about uh, uh, Japanese people who seem to be uh, attracted uh, to um, Islamic uh, activism, uh, I think uh, the people who are young people who are drawn to uh, these uh, movements are probably. Uh, uh, are drawn for the same reasons as young Islamic youth are drawn to these movements. In other words, uh, even in Japan, we're seeing a greater wealth disparity. People graduate from college but cannot get into a job uh, that they uh, truly uh, wish uh, to pursue, uh, or they uh, feel, feel that they have uh, very little money and cannot uh, find happiness in life. They feel um, isolated from society. Uh, they don't feel they belong. And they have a hope that maybe if they go into the Islamic world, they will be accepted and they will find a better life. Uh, at the end of September, Last year, uh, there is a media organization called Iraq News. They broadcast uh, 
some news that some 40 Japanese uh, members belong to ISIL. Uh, whether that number is uh, truly uh, correct or not, uh, being a separate question, uh, I think it is obvious that there are some uh, Japanese members that have uh, belonged, that are that do belong uh, to this organization. And again, uh, I think, as I said before, that uh, if these members did go on their own volition, it is because they felt they probably had a better chance at living a better life there. Who'd like to ask the next question? <笑>朝日新聞の谷中です。え、先ほどあの安倍政権のあの中東歴訪に少し触れられましたけれど、安倍首相のですね、え、ま、昨日国会の方で安倍首相はあ、ま、え、民主党の前原氏から質問を受け
、でもちろんあの人質が取られてもあの、まあ、中東諸国に行く、まあ、それは、まあ、ある程度も仕方がないことなのか、つまりもしかするとその水面下の動きって私は見えませんけれども、まあ、今回のことで、えー、もう意識して安倍首相はあの中東を訪問されたかもしれないです。でまあ、中東諸国と、まあ、経済協力の話をしつつもです、ね、もしかすると今回取られたあの2人の方の解放を考えて、交渉をされていたかもしれません。でやっぱりそのまあ、アメリカとイスラエルの関係って、まあ、これ、私、ずっとその中東イスラム世界、あるいは中東というもの、私はアメリカにいたこともありますし、えー、そのアメリカとイスラエルの同盟関係、どういうもので作られるかというのは、あよく分かっているつもりです。でそまあ、アメリカとイスラエルの関係、これはアメリカにとって利益があるものであって、必ずしもその日本の利益とは一致しないと思うんですね。でそういったところで、あのえー、日本がです、ねそのえー、イスラエルと協力関係を進めていく、おそらくアメリカにとっては印象のいいものかもしれないですけれども、あのその辺で,です、ね、私たち、まあ、日本人が長年にわたって築き上げてきた、えー、現地で苦労してきた日本人がです、ね、頑張って努力してきた日本のイメージというものがです、ねえー、崩れるということがあの非常にあの怖いと思います。つまり安全保障って単に軍事力だけじゃないんですね、でやっぱりその日本に対する良好なイメージ、あるいは日本人に対する良好なイメージを維持することというのはです、ね、日本人の安全をそのまま高めることになると、私はずっとその信じてきたわけです、でイスラム世界との交流も考えてきました。ですからあの日本がその中東政策を考える上でですね、まあそれはアメリカとの関係全部断絶しろとか、えー、悪化しろとは言いません、ただ、アメリカとの関係も大事だけども、やはり中東イスラム世界との関係も大事だと、そういうあの、えー、気配りをした、えー、外交であってほしいとずっと願っております。I, am, I certainly I must begin by saying that I hadn't expected a Japanese press to be here, so I was a little thrown off.、Uh, but、um, I think when we look at、uh, what has changed the most after Prime Minister、uh, Abe has come to power、uh, in regard to Middle Eastern policy, I think、um, this is something that、uh, is not an original observation. But I think the biggest difference、uh, since we've seen Prime Minister Abe's administration come to power is that.、Uh, Compared to previous administrations, he has become very, very、um, vocal. Uh Uh, and very clear about how much he values the US Japan、uh, relationship.、Uh, and he makes this appeal not only、uh, domestically, but on the international stage as well. And I think that is the biggest shift、uh, in terms of、uh, diplomatic policy、uh, that we have seen with Mr.、Uh, Abe.、Uh, and certainly,、uh, I understand the、uh, importance. I, I mentioned earlier that.、Uh, Until now, the Islamic nations have had a very, very positive image of Japan. And as a result,、um, I don't really want to make these、uh, next comments、uh, too publicly,、uh, in part because I don't want Islamic nations to really focus on these matters. But the fact, as an Islamic researcher, one of the things that has concerned me about、uh, Prime Minister Abe's、uh, policies is that、uh, he has、um, agreed upon、um, uh, trade uh, cooperation with uh, Israel. And uh, as you know, uh, Israel um, only recently、uh, had attacks on.、Uh, And、the Gaza Strip, where some 2,000 Palestinians、um, over time have passed away. And、uh, to have this kind of trade relationship with, with such a government is something that、uh, probably sends a negative message uh, to um, many uh, nations、uh, in the Islamic world.、Um, So, in response to your question,、uh, given the current situation, given、uh, the fact that there were hostages being held, was this truly the best time to go to the Middle East?、Uh, perhaps a prime minister, I don't know the background, I don't know what is happening、uh, you know, in,、uh, in, in secret negotiations or et cetera.、Um, I, it may be that、uh, Mr. Abe had no choice but to go in spite of the fact、uh, that he might have been. Putting the、uh, hostages at further risk, or it might have been that、uh, there were secret negotiations going on that the public simply doesn't、uh, know about, and that by offering this kind of economic cooperation to Middle Eastern nations, he was hoping that maybe that the、um, Hostages might、uh, have been released.、Um, I, these are all thing, areas of speculation. However, what I can say is that we look at the US uh, Israel uh, relationship, uh, their、um, alliance relationship, and we see that.、Uh, 
this is something that is very positive for the United States, uh, and it's very good for um, Israel. Uh, but I've been studying in the United States. I've been to the Middle East. I understand the United States uh, very well. But what is this relationship being very positive for the United States and this relationship being positive for Japan perhaps are two different uh, questions. Um, over the long term, as I've mentioned earlier, Japan has worked very, very hard to ensure that it maintains a very good relations with the nations of the um, Arab world. I've said uh, for many, many years that when we talk about security issues, security doesn't simply mean that you have a strong military. It means that you work very, very hard and over a very long time to establish very good human-to-human -human positive relationships. That is the best way, I have said, uh, to ensure security. So I'm not for a moment advocating that we put aside or diminish uh, the importance of the U.S.-Japan relationship, but at the same time, I think just as importantly, we should also value and think about the long-term implications and the importance of U.S.-Japan-Middle East relationships, Japan-Islamic um, world relationships as well. Thank you. Joel. <clears throat> Um, thank you very much. Uh, my name is Joël Lejean from uh, French TV and radio, BFM TV and RTL. Uh, my question is about uh, what seems to be a sort of um, time, um, an agenda, uh, let's say, for ISIS. Um, apparently, they're in weaker positions. And uh, is there some uh, room to say that there is some sort of uh, working closer relationship between ISIS and Al Qaeda? Mm -hmm. it, that's my first imp question. And uh, follow up on that, just for the news, uh, just received some email from um, the Conte saying that uh, uh, today Prime Minister has uh, uh, stated that again they won't negotiate and so and so. But it, we have impression, and that follows the question here, that Conte seems to give the responsibility of the end of the negotiation on Jordan. Mm -hmm. Don't you think Japan should be a bit more stronger in its position and say maybe we don't deal with terrorists? あの、そうですね。あの、ずっとま、日本はこう、アメリカに遠慮して、いわゆるそのイスラム原理主義というえ、組織に対してですね、対話のチャンネルを持ってこなかったですよね。で、それがなんか今回え、なかなかこう解放がうまく実現しなかったという
、でさっきその交渉の相手としてヨルダンを返してということなんですけども。交渉のチャンネルとして、まあ、ヨルダンというのはです、ね、これあの、イスラム国と敵対する国ですよね、でイスラム国と敵対する国が、イスラム国との,その交渉チャンネルになっているって、あんまりこれも適切ではないようなあの気がするんですね、つまりあの、イスラム国に影響力がある国に努力してもらった方があが適切かなという感じがします。であのヨルダンという国はあのイスラム国の脅威を間近に感じている国ですね、つまりあのイスラム国というのはその名の通りヨーロッパ、フランスやです、ね、そのイギリスが作った、えー、中東イスラム世界の秩序、まあ、サイクス・ピコ協定という、まあ、そういう秘密条約がありましたけれども、まあ、それによってできた国が、えー、ヨルダン、それから、えー、イラク、えー、レバノン、シリア、それからずっとえー、国際政治の焦点になっているパレスチナ問題があるわけですよね。で、まあ、イスラム国はそうしたヨーロッパが作った秩序を、えー、壊してしまう、えー、というようなことを言っているわけです。で、そういうあのヨーロッパが作った国境線を取っ払って、さらにこう大きなあの国,境じゃなくて国家を作るというのがイスラム国の狙いで、おそらくヨルダン王政を打倒することも彼らの視野に入っている。でそういうあの彼らが打倒することを考えるそのヨルダン王政を使って、えー、交渉することがあの適切であったかなということですけども、まあ、これはおそらくその安,倍安倍首相がです、ね、イスラエルを訪問している間にあの今回の身代金要求が起きたのでとりあえずイスラエルからヨルダンに、えー、対策本部を置こうというそういう。考えだったとは思うんですねただ、その後の結構交渉過程を見るとです、ねあの、やはりイスラム国の側は日本政府の動きをよく見ていると私は思うんです、であの安倍さんがそのイスラム国と戦う諸国に2億ドル支援を行うといった直後に最初の身代金要求の映像が出てきたと思うんですね。で彼の,その身の代金要求額2億ドルまあ、日本円に2百三十何億円ですけれども、その額も安倍,政安倍首相の発言を受けて、皮肉るような、そういう意図があったと思うんですね。で、であのまあ、日本がその対策本部をヨルダンに置いたから、今回、死刑囚の解放を求めておりますけれども、もしあのトルコに日本が対策本部を置いてならば、今回のような要求にはならなかった。だと思います。So, um, in regard to your second question as to、um, why、uh, would、uh, the background behind uh, uh, Jordan being used as a negotiating channel by、uh, Prime Minister Abe and、uh, First of all, I would like to say that probably the、uh, Conte or、uh, Prime Minister Abe's administration had no other negotiating channel except uh, Jordan. Uh, and uh, because uh, over time,、uh, the Japanese government has not tried to develop other communication channels with uh, uh, Islamic, um, with, with ISIL or other uh, organizations. Um, Uh, I believe that、uh, Japanese intelligence capabilities are considerable, but I think over the years they have sort of refrained uh, from uh, moving out on their own.、Uh, they have refrained、uh, out of courtesy to the United States、uh, to not develop channels with what we are called Islamic fundamentalist groups.、Uh, so、um, I think it is uh, that uh, background uh, that has.、Uh, Created the current situation where Japan has very few uh, such uh, people or ways to ha- communicate、uh, with、uh, these problematic groups.、Um, in the past, for example, the Muslim Brotherhood,、uh, they were not、uh, able to, the Japanese government was not able to maintain any kind of a dialogue.、Um, as I think about these things,、um, I realize that one of the words,、uh, that one of the phrases that has been used by Premier Strabi recently、uh, quite often is the word terrorist or terrorist organizations, or we will not bow to terrorism. Uh, but、um, I think the word terrorism in, in, or terrorist organization in referring to ISIL is a, a way to simply sort of provoke、um, uh, ISIL. And I think it's、uh, not just Mr. Abe, I think many Japanese politicians tend to use the word terrorist or terrorism、uh, very lightly、uh, without really taking into account how uh, people uh, view uh, these organizations. In other words, certainly from the point of view of the United States、uh, or Israel,、uh, groups such as uh, Hamas uh, fire rockets into To Israel. So, certainly,、uh, they'd like 
to refer to Hamas as a terrorist organization. And uh, Hezbollah is another organization that is often referred to in the Western media as a terrorist organization. However, there is the reality that there are many people in the Islamic world who do not necessarily regard these organizations as terrorist organizations. Uh, however, in the past, we've had, um, for example, Prime Minister Koizumi say, we will never negotiate with a terrorist. Uh, the fact, again, uh, that so many uh, Japanese politicians use this word lightly is a way to, uh, for, I think, unconsciously or inadvertently uh, worsen the situation. Um, in other words, we have to uh, think about uh, uh, the best possible ways to uh, negotiate uh, with uh, these uh, different uh, organizations. And um, if we're talking about Jordan, I'd like to go into a little bit more uh, in detail and think about the background to ISIL and what are their long-term uh, concerns or what are their long-term uh, goals. Uh, they have said directly that they want to overturn uh, the current order or the current uh, status quo uh, in the um, Middle East and the countries uh, that exist in the Middle East uh, now were uh, countries that were arbitrarily uh, created by the United, uh, the United Kingdom and France, um, other uh, victorious nations uh, after uh, World War I. Uh, in fact, there is the Sykes-Pico secret agreement, uh, which was uh, responsible for creating these um, countries such as uh, Iraq, Jordan, Lebanon, Syria, and also the um, Palestinian uh, refugees, uh, which have continued to be an international problem for decades now. So ISIL has said uh, that their biggest uh, goal is eventually to, create, to take away all of these arbitrary uh, national borders and to uh, uh, dissolve these arbitrarily created uh, nations uh, that were created by the uh, Western powers and included among these uh, arbitrarily created nations is the monarchy of um, Jordan. Uh, so when you consider that we're trying to use this um, Jordan, Jordanian nation uh, as a negotiating uh, country for, with, uh, with ISIL, um, whether that was an appropriate thing to do or not, considering that ISIL eventually wants to see um, I, uh, Jordan dissolved as a nation, I wonder if that was pro perhaps the best uh, possible way to go. Um, I think that uh, because the hostage situation suddenly arose while Prime Minister Abe and his party were in the Middle East, their immediately, immediate reaction was to set up an emergency headquarters and their first thought was Israel or Jordan and they just ended up doing it in Jordan. But because uh, the headquarters uh, for countermeasures to deal with the situation was established in Jordan, uh, this allowed ISIL uh, to change their demands and start uh, demanding that uh, um, an inmate on death row uh, be released uh, that was being held by uh, Jordan. When you look at what ISIL has been doing, you can see that ISIL has been watching the movements of Japan very, very carefully. In other words, uh, immediately after uh, Prime Minister Abe made a policy statement speech uh, promising $200 million in aid, uh, humanitarian aid, to the nations battling ISIL, this video was released uh, basically mimicking, almost sarcastically, ironically, uh, cynically, uh, the words of Prime Minister Abe and demanding a ransom, a figure that was almost exactly identical to what Mr. Abe had promised uh, these nations. Uh, um, again, I go back to the idea that uh, if perhaps the headquarters for countermeasures to deal with the situation had not been established by the Japanese government in Jordan, then this uh, idea for hostage exchange might not have arisen. Uh, it I'm sorry. That I if uh, the headquarters had been established not in Jordan but in, for example, Turkey, then that exchange uh, demand might not have arisen. そうですね、あの最初のご質問だったんでございますが、あのああ愛するとのその、えー、まあ長期的なその、えー、まあアジェンダは何であるか、えー、特にその愛すると、えー、そのアルカエラとの関係、えー、これからどういうふうに変わっていくと思いますでしょうか。何かそういうような関係を持ちたいと思うんでしょうか。うん、えっ、ー、とまあアルカエラということはですね。私、そのまあ、欧米の研究者の表現ではオリジナルアルカイダという、えー、言葉がありますけどもつまり、もともとのアルカイダというのはオサマ・ビンラーデンと子供あ行動を共にしていたです、ねえー、アフガニスタンやパキスタンで活動していた武装集団ですよね、でえー、それが、まあ、あの九一市の、えー、テロの背後にいてああいう大きな、えー、テロ事件を起こした。私もテロということを使いますけどもあの、起こしたと言われてますけども、えー、ただですねその、あのアルカイダと必ずしも影響をあ、つまり具体的なその接触ない人たちもです、ね、自分たち自称アルカイダって今、名乗ってる状態だと思うんですね。
、でこれはその、まあ、イラクのアルカイダというのはあのイラク戦争後、活動してそれがこう今のイスラム国に発展している。でさらにあのサウジアラビアでもともとできたアラビア半島のアルカイダというのがサウジアラビア政府の弾圧にあった結果ですね現在イエメンで活動してこの間の,あ,の、えー、あそこのパリのですね銃撃シャルリエブドの銃撃事件を起こしたと言われてますよねであと北アフリカにもアルカイダを名乗る組織があるでそれが全てどっかのその指示誰か最高指導者が来てその指示に従って統,率統一した行動を取っているとは思いませんつ,つまりアルカイダというのはそれぞれ何かこう自称アルカイダいわばアメーバ細胞みたいな組織だと思いますけどそれに対してイスラム国というのは、ね、もう地域がこう集中して活動して実際にその支配地域を持っているという点がです、ね、このアルカイダと全然違うところだと思います。つまり彼らがその統治能力を持って、あれだけ急速にその支配地域を拡大した背景にはです、ね、別の軍事力でもって支配地域を拡大したわけではなくて、で1990年代にアフガニスタンでタリバンがあっという間にその支配地域を拡大した構図とよく似ていると思うんですね、でつまりそのコミュニティの指導者たちが、ああいったその組織、タリバンであるとか、イスラム国に対する忠誠とか支持を。えーえー表明することによってです、ね、あの彼らの,その支配地域はあっという間に広がっていったと、まあ、これはあのイスラムが拡大,する、えー、拡大していった歴史的なあの発展とよく似ていると私は思うんです。で必ずそのイスラムというのはどうもその、えー、軍事力でもって拡大したというイメージがありますけれども、イスラムが急速に発展していったというのはです、ね、やっぱりもちろん軍事力は使いましたけれども、えー、その、えー、地域のコミュニティのリーダーたちがいやあのイスラムの,あの、えー、勢力に、えー、支持というか、その支配を受けるということを表明することによってです、ねあの、イスラム、えー、世界というのは広がっていったと思うんですね、それとまあ同じような構図があると。いうことで,で、決定的なその違い、アルカイダとイスラム国の決定的な違いというのは、えー、支配地域があって、でえー、行政能力が、えー、イスラム国にある、でその行政能力というのは、あのかつての,その、えー、イスラム戦政権時代のです、ねえー、官僚がイスラム国の、えー、政府の中に入っているというのも非常に、えー、大きな、えー、彼らにとってです、ね、行政能力を与えることになっているのではないかという、そういう印象です。Um, first of all, when we talk about Al Qaeda,、uh, we talk,、uh, I, I like, there's a phrase that is used among Western academics,、uh, uh, uh, and that is the original Al Qaeda. The original Al Qaeda、uh, was an organization、uh, that was basically、um, funded by、uh, Osama bin Laden. It took、um, uh, armed uh, forces, uh, activists uh, that were、uh, already active in Afghanistan and Pakistan, and as you know,、uh, they eventually came together to create uh, this uh, very terrible terrorist、um, act. Uh, which is called、uh, September 11th attacks、uh, in, in New York. And I myself use the word、uh, terrorist、uh, attacks to the word terrorism, which I try not to、uh, use very much. But、uh, the point I'm saying is that、uh, that was the original、uh, Al Qaeda. And now we have、uh, various other groups in the world、uh, that call themselves Al Qaeda、uh, groups.、Uh, for example, we have、um, uh, Al Qaeda in Iraq,、uh, which was an organization that arose after the Iraq War.、Uh, they eventually uh, developed uh, themselves into a larger organization called、uh, ISIL、uh, today. And then we have Al Qaeda in、uh, the Arabian Peninsula. And、uh, these uh, were uh, people who felt、uh, oppressed by the Saudi Arabian government.、Uh, eventually, uh, they uh, Spread their uh, uh, influence into Yemen.、Uh, they were、uh Uh, responsible for the attacks、uh, in Paris that we saw recently. We also have、uh, some groups、uh, called Al Qaeda in North Africa. But the question is、uh, is there true unity among all of these organizations? Are there true, is there one leader that governs them all, that、uh, controls them all? And I think、uh, the answer is no. They're sort of like an,、uh, an amoeba organization where they have different cells、uh, that operate、uh, separately from each other. They are very, very distinct and very, very different in that way from ISIL. ISIL focuses all of its activities. Activities in one particular、uh, geographical area, and they control that geographical area. They have displayed、uh, the ability to actual, actually govern or rule that area. Uh, in fact,、uh, when I see how fast they have been able to、uh, increase、uh, their domination of a particular geographical area, it reminds me of the、uh, 
uh, the very quick rise of the Taliban uh, in the 1990s. Uh, and they were able to do this. Both organizations were able to do this, um, not only through military means. Of course, the image that we have of ISIL is that they used uh, violent military um, f uh, means uh, to gain control. But it isn't just that. It is that they were able to get the consent of local community leaders uh, to, be, uh, to accept being governed by ISIL or to accept being part of ISIL. And that is the reason that they were, they were able to grow so quickly. And um, I mentioned earlier that ISIL is distinct from um, Al-Qaeda in that it has displayed uh, its ability to run an administration, to run communities, to actually govern a, a state or a nation. And part of the reason that they're able to do this is that ISIL has within uh, its ranks many former bureaucrats who worked for Saddam Hussein. Okay. Um, one more question. One, one more. Mr. Mieta has a, a TV appearance to go to, but he's kindly agreed to answer one more question. This is strictly for members of the working press, and it will have to be a very crisp and succinct question. The gentleman at the back had his hand up early. Thank you. WCN-TV.com. How high is your optimism that the money and aid that you propose would go to um, helping those in need in controlled areas? And do you think this is something Abe would consider doing? Hmm. Hi.あの、それ大変あの難しいことなんですね。あの、つまりあのイスラム国の支配地域に物資が届くとか。ま、それもやっぱりですね、私はそのイラク政府がですね、真摯にあの、その住民派住民に対してですね、福利をあの与える、え、福利の完全を改善を考えるということを、え、考えればですね、何らかのチャネルアラウンスはずなんですね。で、
sure that uh, not the Red Cross, but the Red Crescent Organization could be a medium through which a Japanese aid could be provided. And the aid that would be provided would be, for example, medical supplies, pharmaceuticals, foods. Uh, these are things that will not strengthen uh, ISIL militarily. Uh, and again, it ha goes back to the original question that I've been repeating over and over again. Why was ISIL able to gain such power and support so quickly uh, in, so, in, in such a large way? I think uh, much of the responsibility lies with the Iraqi government. Uh, they, and I think they need to understand, first of all, they need to become aware of the fact that they do bear a tremendous responsibility, that uh, they did not uh, take the uh, idea of uh, ensuring that uh, social and economic benefits reached all of their uh, citizens, uh, and uh, that uh, for the people that were suffering, uh, they depended simply on foreign aid. I think the Iraqi government needs to very much uh, change uh, its ways and, and realize that it has made uh, mistakes in the past. Uh, and uh, that is one way that I think that uh, ISIL um, perhaps uh, can be more weakened uh, in the future. I know that um, there are many things that are happening. The uh, United States are, is looking at uh, things over the short term uh, in trying to change the situation. Uh, there are rumors of the uh, Iran uh, Revolutionary Guard. Uh, people are also participating uh, in the uh, uh, fight. But the point that I want to make uh, is that uh, people are actually suffering on the ground, even in the areas controlled by ISIL. And we must use every possible channel to try to uh, gain uh, aid for them. Thank you very much. I'm afraid we'll have to bring it to a close there. I'm sorry there were many other questions, but Mr. Miato was very gracious in staying on. He's got to hurry off to a TV appearance now, so uh, please let's uh, allow him to make a speedy exit. But before he does, as is our custom, uh, we're going to present him with a one-year honorary membership of the club, and I hope he can come back and answer more questions in the future.